Good afternoon, Piscianos. Good afternoon. I hope you guys are out there enjoying your day. Let me fix this mic. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, done personals, and gave donations. No personals at this time. I have a song that is stuck in my head. I think it's from the 80s or 90s. I don't know who sings it. And I'm so sorry in advance for singing it. But that's the only way I can get it out. It goes, um, <coughs> I'm getting ready. <coughs> um, I'm wishing on a star to follow where you are. I'm wishing on a dream to follow what it means. And I'm wishing on a dream yes okay so I think there's a reason that that song is popping up in my head right now um, I feel like a lot of you are searching for guidance in a situation maybe you're having something that's very problematic and you're asking for guidance or some of you may not be asking for guidance and I feel like spirits here telling me that you need to ask ask and you shall receive um, the answers are around you. They are trying to show you some of them. Some of you, I feel like there are answers around you. You just need to, excuse me, I just had my lunch. Um, there are answers around you. You just need to kind of see them, like open your eyes to see them. Um, there is a technique that I use. It's right before you fall asleep, you ask the question on what you want, um, what question you have, and you'll get the answer. Sometimes you get it in your sleep. A lot of times for me, it happens right there in my dream. I'll, I'll get it right in my dream, the answer. Um, sometimes you'll get it through signs the next day or sometimes a few days later. So yeah. Okay. Let's wing it. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and higher beings, please help me with this message today for my beautiful Pisces people. My Piscianos. What messages do we have for Pisces messages for Pisces hmm. it's interesting nine of swords comes out um, dream sleeping give me a second hmm. Mm, mm, the worries on your minds. Um, there's a lot of worries. I was feeling that correctly. You do have a lot of worries. Maybe um, some of it is protection. Some of it is protecting yourself from people, staying strong to the, the, the decisions that you've made. And to, like, like I feel like you made some decisions in your life and you're trying to make sure you stick to them and you, you're strong with them. Um, a lot of this anxiety though, what is this anxiety? What is this feeling of not sleeping well? Why are you feeling this? Do you feel overwhelmed? Do you feel like you have a lot of problems on you? Trying to keep it together. That's what I feel like and we'll get deeper into it. But that's interesting, you know, with the, the whole dreams. And I feel like some of you might be getting some nightmares. It's definitely the feeling that you're not sleeping well, but I do feel like there are some nightmares for some of you, but we'll go deeper into this. <clears throat> hmm. Again, with this Queen of Cups in the reversal, it's like this, ooh, I feel it. It's like a challenge. Like you want to stay healthy. You want to stay strong. You want to stay on top of things. You want to stay, you know, maybe... Um, in a place of prosperity and abundance, you know, it's like you, a feeling of, you know, sticking to your decisions. And I feel like, you know, not that you're failing at it. I just feel like there's too much of an emphasis. That's what I'm feeling with the nine of cups. There's too much of an emphasis on keeping it together, on making it happen, on making it work, on sticking with something. And we'll get deeper into what all this means. Tell me more about this nine of swords. 
This is, I'm actually getting anxiety, like feeling it. There's anxiety, worries. But the thing is, is that song came out for a reason, Pisces. I feel like there are problems that you're having, but your guides, in particular spirit guides, are coming really strong to me, telling me, like, we're here, we're trying to guide them, you know, um, just tell them. Tell them to ask, and they shall receive. So I think they wanted me to share my technique with you. Maybe there's some other techniques. Maybe you can share with other people on how to get these answers. I feel like there's a lot of worry, though, to keep everything together. Tell me more about this nine of swords. What am I feeling? What is all this? Empress in reverse and the Four of Swords. <coughs> Some of you are worried about your children. Some of you are worried about um, maybe, wow, maybe it's like a home thing, um, food. I don't know. There's a lot of worry. There's a lot of worry about growing, about investments, I feel like. Growth in your investments about money. Ugh, I don't know why I'm getting money with the, the Empress. The Empress is more so, more, mostly kids. It's a lot to do with children. Um, I do feel like some of them are draining you with the Empress in reverse, and that could be like they're causing you to stay up at night and think about them and worry about them. Could be other things, but give me a moment. I don't, I'm feeling anxiety. I hate that. <sighs> give me a sec. Mm. Again, we got the Four of Swords here. It's talking about like that dream state, that meditative state. I think there's a lot of people that ask questions while they're meditating. Um, and I don't know if you're doing that right now. That is another technique. Now that it popped up, it kind of is telling me that is another technique, asking the question during meditation. And you will get the answers for it. Um, so there is a feeling of um, seeking answers seeking you know answers to these difficult questions and when is this going to stop and when is this going to begin you know um, I do feel Pisces that the energy is kind of like you gotta you we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow we don't know what's going to we just don't know so it's just best to try to stay calm for today um, I'm getting some messages right now being grateful being grateful is a big deal um, you know be grateful for the food that you eat. I don't care if it's a cup of coffee. Be grateful for that cup of coffee. Be grateful for that bottle of water. Be grateful for your lunch, your dinner. You know, thank you for my lunch today. You know, I have to say thank you for my lunch today. It was very healthy and it fills my body with nutrition. So it's like the feeling of when you don't know when there's uncertain times and you're not really sure where things are headed, just live in the moment and be grateful for what it is that you do have. Thank you for the clothes on my back. Thank you for the roof over my head. Thank you for my daughter. Thank you for my boyfriend. Thank you for my mother. Thank you for the people that are there for me and love me. You know, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, you know, that plus ask and you shall receive. Asking those questions to your spirit guides, to God, you will get the answers. And that's all you need. That's all you need right there. Tell me more about this nine of cups. I feel like they want to come into your sleep and heal. They do. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. Whoa. Page of Swords again, people. Page of Swords. People are all up in the shit. That's what I'm feeling. They're all up in your shit. But let me start here real quick. You know, the feeling here is sometimes when you hold on to something so tight, that's, it's like, it's not going in the ebb and flow of the universe. And that's what I kind of feel like you're doing. It's like you're kind of, sometimes letting go gives you more. Does that make any sense to you? Instead of holding on to something, holding on to a status, holding on to, you know, your money, holding on to your sanity sometimes, it feels like, you know, it's like you hold on so tight that you lose it. You know, that's the feeling that I get with that. I feel like there are people that are well, like not wishing you well, 100% Pisces. I feel like there's people that do spy on you. I feel like there's people that do meet you in your dreams. Um, and I don't 
you know, this is very, like, I'm feeling something here. Maybe they're doing that. You know when, it's like subconsciously, it's like maybe sometimes it, this person thinks about you obsessively, Page of Swords, it's like they obsessively think about you to the point where they might be falling asleep with you as their last thought in their mind. And then they wind up connecting with you. Remember, Pisces, you are very empathic. You can make people feel things as well. There's, that's another ability that you have. It's like you can conversate with them and there's a vibe that you give off and they can feel it and they can pick it up. And it goes both ways. That energetic cord goes both ways, Pisces. So yeah, so I do feel like some of you might be getting some strange dreams or visitations from these stalker people in your dreams. Tell me a little bit more about this. That's too many. The fool. Somebody that doesn't want to admit when something's over. That's the energy that I'm getting. It's like they're not letting something go. They're not letting you start new, start afresh. They don't want you to. And that's okay. It's not what they want. You know, it's like they're feeding you bad energy or they're putting bad energy into you, feeding you bad energy. What is that? It was like an emphasis in my head with that. What is that? Feeding you bad energy. Tell me more. Two of swords. Things that you're watching or seeing, I feel like are leaving you kind of confused. I don't know if it's them, if it's what they're telling you. I don't know if it's social media. I don't know. I'm feeling like a confusion, Pisces, and this might be adding to your stress. Maybe it's the news. Maybe it's things that you're watching in the news that, again, Pisces, you're extremely empathic and you can feel those things. You can feel those people suffering. The tr the, it, you, you, that stuff rubs off on you. So this might be affecting your sleep as well, just to keep that in mind. So that was big for the nine of swords to come up first. There's a lot happening in dreamland for you. I feel like spirit angels, ancestors, they all want to communicate with you. They all want to heal you while you sleep. And then there's also a lot of traumas, a lot of worries that you're having that are probably keeping you up and a lot of things that you're probably seeing. And then you have also these people that are energetically like tied to you. And they're bothering you while you sleep. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. The Sun card. And the Five of Swords. Give me one moment. I feel a need, Pisces, to tell you to kind of disconnect. Um, I don't have social media. The only thing I have, yes, is YouTube, obviously. But I, I don't. You know why? Because it's unhealthy. Like, I monitor how much time my daughter has on it, too, because it's unhealthy for you. You know, that stuff is very toxic. So I do feel an energy here trying to tell me to tell you to disconnect. You need to disconnect. Like, I, I, I have strict rules when it comes to my YouTube. I get on my YouTube. I do what I do. I stay on for about, I don't know, an hour or so. Um, and, you know, I answer any comments or, you know, I talk to you guys. But then after that, I kind of maybe I'll go back on later on that day. But for the most part, I'm done. Like, I try not to get on it because I know it's unhealthy for your mind. Um, and I am feeling that, Pisces. I feel this energy of, like, you need to disconnect. If you want to be happier, you need to disconnect. Don't regret walking away from people. Whatever decisions that it is that you made, stick to them. That's the energy that I'm feeling. You're right. You were right. You made the right decision by walking away by, from certain people. <sighs> All right. Let's get some advice. There's too much anxiety here. But I think the biggest thing was that song coming out, Pisces, and saying to just ask. Please try that technique. Tell me if it works for you guys. Right before you fall asleep, just ask the question.
spirit, what advice do we have for Pisces? I think you gave a lot today. Thank you. Thank you for that. Get over this anxiety, this sleeplessness that I've been feeling. A lot is happening at night for you guys now. More is happening at night than during the day. That's the message I just got. What you do at night is more important than the day. How you fall asleep is more important than the day. Have some tea before bed. Chamomile. Sleepy time. Meditate. Beyond illusion in the reversal. I feel like this is all an illusion for you, Pisces. That's why, I've, okay, yes, I feel it. We are living in a fake world. We are living, uh, do these things actually happen? Yes, absolutely, Pisces. But um, I think we're getting overloaded by information, by pain, especially you, Pisces, the way you, you connect and the way you feel um, and your health, like it's affecting you. But I feel like spirit's here to tell you that this is all in your mind, you know, in a way, you know, this is all in your mind. What are you consuming every day? Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. That's a big thing with me. You know, when I feel like this, I start, you know, not, I start taking away the things that are not helping me and start putting in things that are helping me. So you are in control of how you're going to feel, of what you are putting into your mind. That's the energy that I'm feeling here with the Beyond Illusion. And that song and that, that, that feeling that I got earlier was like, we're here for you, Pisces. We got you. Don't buy into the illusion of you know this world so this goes out i guess to those pisces that are having difficulties at night so i know it's not going to resonate for everyone all right pisces i hope you like the reading please like and subscribe and thank you